Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum friends. You are watching CSC Guide official YouTube channel and CSCGuideOfficial.com website. Today I will tell you about uh, another university has started CSC scholarship admission and university scholarship admission as well. So if you want to apply on in this university, then you can. So this university have just online apply. No need to send hard copies. So. Uh, let's start so just you type uh, csc official um, csc guide official dot com uh, in google so it's request from my side so must type csc guide official dot com in, uh, in google uh, after typing here for click on the first link um, after clicking on the first link you can um, uh, come here and click on csc scholarship admissions uh, when you click on csc scholarship admissions you can see the first one who high university this university have just online apply and uh, if you want to apply in this university just you can uh, so uh cs hawaii university have uh, chinese government scholarship and university scholarship as well so let's start uh, and, and and i'll also share my experience what happened with me last year and this year as well so um thought is chinese government scholarship and hawaii university uh, scholarship so university name is hawaii university for, for this scholarship is for master bachelor master and phd note uh, must um bachelor scholarship uh, cs is university scholarship uh, is only for um, um Oh, sorry, is is for all like bachelor, master, and PhD. But uh, Chinese government scholarship for Hawaii University is only for master and PhD. So it's um, uh, bachelor students only apply for uh, um, university scholarship, not for CSE scholarship. And master and PhD students ap apply for all scholarship like um, uh, university scholarship and CSE scholarship in Hawaii University. So if it's fully funded scholarship, three thousand RMB for master and uh, three thousand five hundred RMB for PhD. CS, this is CSE scholarship stipend for and uh, for um, university scholarship um, i checked last uh, year to know i did not get any inf information but uh, um, um, last year i checked it's about uh, 1700 uh, i think for 1700 rmb for master students and two 2000 rmb for phd students i think 1500 or uh, 1300 rmb for bachelor students so it's a uh, best opportunity if your uh, uh, csc scholarship b category application has been filled uh, has been completed now you are looking you are looking for um, university scholarship then you can apply in this university without any hesitation so um, 30th of, of april is the last date so i will also share my experience what happened with me last year so i applied uh, in this university last year but um, my status um, 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 they select some students um, and um, the students cannot be selected in, in this university um, their status status change into having not passed the initial review but in my case um, uh, my uh, i passed the initial review because i have an uh, acceptance from this university um, and my status change into application fee to be paid so i will uh, give you the demo so this is um, the uh, status of my uh, last uh, years on the hawaii university application portal so um, they said me um, to pay 400 uh, rmb application fee fee but they don't send me an email and and uh, you can see you now uh, apply uh, uh, upload remittance bill last year uh, remittance bill option is not uh, uh, showing here and um not giving any detail a uh, bank detail in which i deposit the fee i also uh, contact with professor and international i call to the international office as well and uh, i ask from them uh, uh, my status change to application fee but uh, not showing any uh, remittance upload remittance bill option or online application uh, online pay, pay fee option or not I mean, uh, not show, uh, showing any bank detail so what should i do they said uh, um, uh, no it's uh, just uh, your uh, status has been changed but uh, if until you cannot fee pay the fee until you can you, know, you cannot get an email uh, so that's why i cannot um, uh, i am not selected in this university and nothing can we do uh, nothing can do if for, for this so that's why i am um, and not accepted in this university so you can see uh, 2019 is the is application number so 2019 means i applied last year this is my last year application um, portal so if you if i apply this this year uh, 2020 it's showing in um, showing 2020 so but the main problem is that no it's not showing showing upload remittance bill no um, if, uh, before 15 days ago it's showing uh, like this and also says that um, uh, please uh, the fee the fee the application fee can be paid via financial platform after feb 20 15 2020 so i also um, contact with the professor um, so this says um, i have no i have no i have no idea about this and uh, i also says them uh, says to him that we um, uh, inform uh, contact 
contact with the international office and ask from them this is uh, this as we are in home all are in home because holidays and uh, coronavirus um, due to coronavirus so that's why i cannot do anything for you uh, right now so um, i am waiting uh, for the for the for their uh, response for the response uh, um, so that's why i uh, i will i'll tell you um, because this this has happened with me and um, i think in last um, if uh, one of other student have happened have happening the same uh, situation uh, facing the same problem um, but he, he this students can apply in 2020 so what happened um, Uh, if now I am confused that either I applied again or uh, this uh, my previous application is enough for 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 this, so um, that's why I cannot apply right now. So this uh, this is uh, my experience. As I get any information about this, I will share with you. So and also uh, facing another students are also, also facing another problem problems in this. Um, uh, for this university, so uh, why the complete video? Uh, everything will be cleared. So. Eligibility criteria is all students can apply, all international students can apply, and uh, A limits 35 for uh, master, 40 for uh, PhD, and 25 for uh, int uh, intermediate means a uh, bachelor students. So um, how to apply for this university? Um, the students uh, you can apply only one uh, scholarship. If you, you have, if you uh, want to apply on CSC scholarship, then you can you don't apply uh, for um, you cannot apply for. Um, Uh, only uh, Hawaii University uh, University scholarship, so um, you can apply only one uh, one scholarship um, at a time. So uh, the students who apply for CSE scholarship, they must fill CSE online application form and uh, university online application form, and mm, that's it. And uh, check your status daily. Um, but if you are uh, if you applying for university scholarship, then you don't need to fill CSE online application form. You just fill the um, Hawaii University application portal and upload all the required required documents. So um, and check your status daily. So the Um, this is the um, um, main difference between university scholarship and uh, um Uh, CSE scholarship, but uh, when you upload documents on university portal, then you must face uh, some problem. So, uh, what is the solution of this problem? I will tell you. So, um, uploading in uplo documents uploading section uh, section um, so two or two um, two things are very different. So, I will tell you what you should do, what you should do for this and uh, uh, what is the solution of this. If you want to apply, if you uh, how you click here to apply on CSE portal, uh, how you fill the CSE online application form link in the description and uh, if you. Um, Click here to apply on university portal. If you uh, if you want to apply on university portal, uh, the link in the description uh, for complete uh, um, online application. But uh, the main thing and the cheeky uh, things uh, which you confuse which you uh, confuse uh, confuse um, you for in the in, in up, 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 upcoming days. So um, I will tell you in this video the problem of of, of the uploading documents. Um, Which don't face, so uh, don't worry about this. So um, and required documents, CSE online application portal online to um, online. Uh, if you are applying for university uh, university scholarship, then uh, first step is not required for you. But if you are applying for CSE scholarship, then uh, you can do all these things. Uh, CSE scholarship application form, university scholarship application form, highest degree notarized copy, transcript of notarized copy. It should be. It's not must be required that it's a notarized copy is um, in, is in colored form, colored print form. So it's just on uh, photocopy. Uh, but it's uh, notarized and the blue stamp stamp which is the um, in our country it's blue uh, stamp but it must be original so uh, it's from uh, uh, i think it's um, the notarized is required and uh, notarized stamp will be um, that you you notarize your documents from your uh, uh, courts um, in our um, country system i we notarized our documents uh, in from the courts so in in it depends on every, every uh, it depends it depends and it's vary from country to Country. So uh, the most recent visa research permit in China. This this um, documents is al also upload uploaded on your portal. But you think that um, what is this? Uh, we don't have any um, president permit in China or any other country. So what should I do? So you must uh, upload your. Uh, Uh, passport photocopy. Last time I when I applied, then I will um, I confused about this. Uh, what should I upload here? So I contacted with the professor uh, by who gave me acceptance letter. But if you don't have an acceptance letter, you can apply without acceptance letter. So. Um, Uh, so uh, they says he he asked from the he he asked uh, from the international office and uh, international office says you up, you can upload your passport photocopy instead in in uh, in um, the place of uh, res res uh, recent visa residence permit so this is the problem and another thing is also um, confusing about uh, confusing you when you fill the online application form in the, what is this uh, what is what is the problem uh, i will tell you so study plan or research proposal two recommendation letters passport photocopy physical 
examination form and English proficiency certificate. IELTS is not mandatory. You can apply without uh, IELTS. Okay, click here uh, to apply. Click here to fill. Um, um, uh, we quickly click here to go to the official advertisement. This is the official advertisement. So you can um, you cannot get any detail from about CSE scholarship. This is just uh, um, demo. So no need to send hard copies. You can see. So um, this is just to give the demo. So they, you know you can you are confusing how you can uh, use how you say us that. Um, um, which documents required so I will tell you so uh, student says that um, you if you not get any um, scholarship then why you are uh, um, telling us uh, about scholarship because um, uh, um, um, I, w I w one thing I tell you, I got scholarship last year, but uh, um, I cannot get my visa. So that's the problem. Uh, what is the why I cannot get my visa? So I don't know about this. So inshallah, hope so. This year I will be selected, inshallah. So and I go to China. So maybe it's uh, better for me. Everything is better. What should happen? So. No, everything is has been fine. So no uh, problem is that uh, problem. No, I'm uh, it's not problem. So no came to the point and I click here to apply online application portal. When you click here, then you can uh, come come on this section admission dot hhu dot edu dot cn. Okay, now when you come here and uh, register yourself and sign in. After signing, you can see the page like this. Uh, like this so student, um, internet is a little bit slow so and click on online application portal when you click on online application portal um, uh, then select your program if you are applying for Chinese government scholarship click here and go to next so you can see uh, only master and bachelor students master and doctoral students can apply so I will um, I will go back and click on university scholarship uh, and um, I will see you what's the difference between um, th them these two things so click on next I select Chinese school scholarship and click on next you can see undergraduate students are and also apply for this university so I uh, click I am master students and applying for uh, uh, university scholarship so I click on the next option so uh, and I select uh, one of the many majors like sociology click on sociology uh, and fill the all and you can see uh, because I I'm not filling all the forms I will just give you um, tell you about upload document section if you want to fill um, this form step by step you can um, um, you can get the link in the description so I go back to home and uh, click on online application and okay and uh, if you um, if you um, have um, su submit one or two sec uh, section of your uh, application form then click edit and carry your application form which you leave so uh, I will give just give you the demo uh, so I click on view and I, uh, I click on view uh, you can see a copy of passport documents upload section copy of passport highest school diploma highest school transcript and the most recent visa residence permit in China you can upload your passport uh, uh, copy of passport again in in this place you can upload your passport and in this place you can passport apply uh, upload your passport as well so don't worry about this <coughs> sorry okay uh, you can uh, apply on uh, your um, passport so don't worry about this all these things so study plan uh, you can upload study plan to recommendation letters health status and uh, health status means your physical examination form you can upload your physical examination form in this in place of health record health report means like this okay uh, economic proof so uh, this is a little bit confusing so for CSE scholarship it's clear that you upload uh, you can upload your um, uh, CSE online application form when you fill the CSE online application form and automatic um, application form has been do downloaded and um, upload your application form in PDF file here uh, if you if you PDF file support if you if don't yeah, they, they, if the portal is not supporting PDF file then upload JPG file I think it's up uploaded uh, PDF file supported but uh, the students who are applying for university scholarship uh, they um, um, what should uh, what um, they upload here I don't have any idea because uh, I also contact with the professor that um, um, if I fall, submit the form then what should I upload in economic proof and I also contact with the uh, international office but they not they don't get any response yet because um, no holidays um, holidays uh, in, Ch in China in whole the China and China is um, are totally um, locked down so no no one working in any organization the organization due to coronavirus and um, because um, they, they much worry, uh, worried about this 
so uh, they don't give me they, they, they tell me uh, he tell me but the professor tell me so I cannot uh, um, uh, I cannot do anything for you right now so I I, th I say okay so wait for the uh, wait wait for the decision because no uh, deadline is um, too much um, for so don't worry about this I as I get any information about economic proof I will tell you uh, honestly okay language proficiency certificate upload uh, your language proficiency uh, certificate here English English proficiency certificate here if you don't have an then don't worry about this uh, abstract or content of the thesis published if you have published your thesis then upload your abstract or content of a thesis published here so now you're confusing that where I should I where if you have acceptance then what should I when where I can upload it so um, if you have acceptance then um, if you don't have an acceptance then you can apply without acceptance letter but if you have accept acceptance then what should uh, you do so and I think uh, after hobby option or uh, in uh, passport and uh, after hobby option I think a option uh, option for advisor name and ad advisor contact, contact is available I, an advisor name you can uh, put your advisor uh, your ex uh, professor acceptance letter and uh, in ad in place of advisor contact you uh, type the email of a prof professor or um, uh, photo uh, email or contact number of your professor so you can uh, type here so and also when and the main thing is that when you apply online application portal then contact with the professor and send you the, your application send you your application form um, and and I'll ask them, uh, sir. I applied. This is my application form, and uh, contact with the international office or any, uh, any other um, um, committee of your university that this is my student, and, ex and try to get uh, scholars so scholarship for this student. So uh, this is these are the things. So if uh, you still have any confusion, confusion about uh, Chinese government scholarship and, and, uh, and required documents, so um, visit our website csiguideofficial.com and um, uh, if you have if you don't have any if you don't um, have any um, documents and you don't have any idea about uh, document sample uh, then you can c come here on csguideofficial.com and click on list of documents for CSC and uh, document sample and uh, um, after clicking on this you can um, click you click on the third one option uh, um, the CSC scholarship documents click here you can get everything which you want um, Inshallah, within two or three days, I I will try I will try to make a, a web a, make a um, make a video and also um, give the sample of uh, uh, study plan or research proposal um, uh, and upload it here. So if you require CV sample, English profession certificate, recommendation letters uh, and uh, um, recommendation letter one, two and physical physical examination form, field physical examination form, blank physical examination form, like acceptance letter format, and these kind of things you can get everything here. So um, uh, visit our website and visit our YouTube channel csiguideofficial.com and remember us in your pr prayer. And met you in the next video uh, with new uh, scholarship. Um, Allah Hafiz and take care of you.